Hello, this is Iron Man Duck, aka Dead by Dawn Gamer, and I'm going to make a quick video to show you the process of what I do when I'm using Trigger Fire to um, set up an alert or whatever. I get asked these questions quite often, so it'll make it easy for you guys. So, uh, know where it's at here on uh, YouTube and wherever else I upload this to, and Rumble and other uh, platforms. So, here we go. So, the first step you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to get. Uh, you're going to make your sound and you're going to get a picture. So usually what I'll do on that is, uh, let's get off the trigger fire. Well, here we go. So where I would go for this, where I go for the pictures is going to be Giphy. Okay. You would just go to Giphy. All right. And when you go to Giphy, you just type in, let's say you wanted a duck, right? Then you would just click on like, let's say you wanted this duck, right click, and then you would uh, save image and then name it as whatever you want. So once you had that, you would go to YouTube, pick your sound right, and from there you can make a 10 second clip of it. So you would just go to Blurp. Uh, the next thing you would do is go to Blurp. Let's see here. So Blurp. Of course you'd log in and stuff. I'm already logged in. So then you would go right here to where it says Create you do new blurb and then these are the different sites you can grab the video from and you just put the URL it'll pop up here and then you can cut yourself a 10 second clip now once you've done both of these things for your idea the next step is going to be to go to your uh, trigger fire so of course we're already in our trigger fire right here as you can see uh, so each one of these tabs do different ones if you wanted to trigger just to uh, just to do a sound, you could cut a sound bite, put you up a sound bite with whatever software you have, set it here, and then set your exclamation point. This one that says got you, it plays when one of my commands on my dashboard goes, but that's the sound. If you had some videos, you could put some videos up in here. Uh, uh, this one controls your scenes. As you can see, these are my deep fake scenes I have set up at the moment. So when people type in chat, for instance, exclamation point, HR because I'll have HAR I had this connected to my OBS it'll actually switch to screen to like um, it would switch to screen over uh, for you know 15 seconds and then it would switch back okay so there's that so now where y'all are going to want to go is the image tab here okay and as you can see I already got stuff going on so after this I'll show you the step I do after that Okay, so the next thing I would do here now is since I'm making a new command, you come down here and click this. Now this link thing here is where you would do a browser source and add that to your OBS. Under browser source, you would copy the link and put it over there. We'll, we'll do that another day. So, okay, so now we're going here. So now the command for this one is going to be uh, FU because this is a command some of the chat's been asking me to do on Twitch. So then we do F U. Very important here. Uh, put your exclamation point mark. Ah. Okay. Put your exclamation point mark in front, and then F U, and then right here you put allow command. Okay. If you don't allow this command, it won't work. So save. So this is cooldowns. We're gonna see how long the clips and everything are, and then we'll adjust that. So now we want to add sound and we want to add uh, we want to add an uh, image. So our image here is going to we're going to click upload because we want to we're uploading a new image. So like I said, I downloaded me a, a meme that I wanted. So I've got my folders here. This memes under duck emote. So for my fu command, we're going to put up Mr. Roger stick in the finger here. And now that I've got this uploaded, see this check mark? You click that and he shows up here. Now see how it says add additional uh, sound? You, if you're wanting to add sound, you're going to put the sound here. So again, I don't have this sound uploaded yet, so we're going to upload, select file, uh, and I have my sounds in a different folder. So that's under sounds and stuff. Uh, and then I have a clip from a song I cut, and I think I called it the FU song. So let's see here, uh, where is it? Where are you? Or is it still on the desktop? 
Let me see here. Uh, sort by. Uh, okay, it's in here. Let's see where we got it hiding. Oh, there it is. Right there. So there's the song I want. All right, so boop. We're uploading that. Okay, so the song is eight seconds, okay? So we're going to click the check mark. So now you see here. So now the next thing. User cooldown is how long it is before someone can use it again. An individual. Global. Oh, that's my soundboard. I can't turn that off right now. Uh, the global... The global, let's go ahead and just match it. If you don't put... Oh, shoot. One second, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, give me a second and we'll get back to that screen we're going to. Uh, chat, there we go. Sorry about that. I hit, a, I hit a quick prompt. Okay, so back. So now that we have that, right, we got that there, that there. Now... We got these here down to eight second cooldown. So the duration, we're going to do nine. Okay. So we got nine. Now we want to save this. Okay. So all of this stuff is set up now. So we got that command. The next thing I do personally is so that my chat and Twitch can know that I've uploaded something. I go to my dashboard right here. Oh, that's not my dashboard. That's the wrong thing. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's find dashboard. Uh, you gotta love raw video. Oh, that's Robin Hood. Okay, so now you got dashboard. So I go into my dashboard here for my Streamlabs. And now I'm going to go to my CloudBot. Okay, and I've already put the command in here, but I'm going to show you what I do. I have two different places I have. I have a timer. Okay, so the timers, this means these go off every, every uh, 21 minutes if one line in chat is hit or 19. Ah. I don't know what that was. Anyways, so now we're going to come back here. And from there, so that would have been under commands. So that I would click edit. And then as you can see, I added the FU command right there. That's so people know what's going on in chat. So that it, with a timer, it'll tell them that I set a command. Uh, a help command as you can see uh, right here the help command that way when they go in my chat they put exclamation point help it'll tell them these help command these commands so they know how to use them okay so now that we've got all of that done let's test our command from there we're just going to X this out okay so now we got to get our trigger fire back up real quick well we don't need to do that Okay, so we got our OBS Studio up. So now I'm just going to go to my home screen as if I was gaming. Okay, so now we're going to test it. So now we're going to test it. One second here. I got to go to my Twitch. Okay. Ah. Okay, so. Now we're going to test the new command. So I put exclamation point fu in my uh, in my chat and my Twitch, and let's trigger. Okay. Oh, I know why it's not working. It's not working because I have to turn off the OBS. Once I turn the OBS, it will come back on. Uh, so what you do now then is you would just turn off your OBS. Uh, reload your OBS and then it works. So this is what a command looks like that's already in there. This is how a command looks that's already in there. So for instance, here's my help command. This is what will happen when you do it. How can I help? See? Like I said, once I restart my OBS and this will work. Alright, I hope that was very helpful uh, and I hope that uh, that you have a great day and enjoy.